third part of our mission statement is that we exist to reach the world. This is our mission mandate. We exist to, to take the gospel to every nation under heaven. Now, when we say that, we realize that that mandate is rooted in the gospel itself. It's rooted in the work of God in Jesus Christ. Because you see, while, while God is holy and just and, and is merciful and gracious, we have alienated ourselves from him by sinning. We have sinned and have alienated ourselves and made ourselves enemies of God. And God, being a holy and just God, must punish sin, must punish sinners. And so we see that God must pour out his wrath upon sinners. See, God is a judge, and he's a good judge. And a good judge cannot let wickedness go unpunished. But it's at that very moment, at that very moment, that God offers up Jesus Christ as the sacrifice for our sin that appeases his wrath. You see, in the cross of Christ, we see the character of God, his holiness and his justice coming face to face with his love and mercy. And in the cross of Christ, Jesus Christ, the innocent one, absorbs the wrath that we rightly deserve. And so the wrath that we deserve, Christ takes upon himself. And so God's holiness and justice are appeased, but his love and mercy are sent at the same time displayed. And we realize that it's not just that it's sacrificial, it is that it is singularly sacrificial. This is why we read in 1 John chapter 2, He Himself is the propitiation, the, the, the atoning sacrifice for our sin. And not for ours only, but also for the sin of the entire world. There is one sacrifice for sin, and that is the sacrifice that God makes in the person of Jesus Christ. And this is why Jesus himself says in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. And so we see that, that there is one way, there is one singular sacrifice. And it's at this point that somebody would typically say, well, well, what about the innocent person who's never heard? And to that we'd say, well, the innocent person goes to heaven. The problem is the innocent person doesn't exist. Paul writes in Romans chapter 1, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that men are without excuse. I never heard will not be an excuse when we stand before God. All men are without excuse. But God demonstrates his grace day after day because he exercises patience and delays his coming and sends his people, churches like ours, out with the good news of the gospel to tell people who have never heard. This is our mission, that we would go and we would tell people. This is, this is the commission that Jesus Christ himself has given us. He says, go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. There is not a nation or person under heaven for whom Jesus Christ does not desire his grace to be shown. And it is our mission as a church to come around the commission of Jesus Christ and reach the world with the good news of the gospel. And so we exist to reach the world.